Hey guys, it's Kurama here. You know, I love boss fights in Sonic games. That aren't Sonic events. But I think sometimes there's boss fights that Eggman's not around for that are as good as the ones that he is, so I figured I'd count down my personal five favorite boss battles that aren't Eggman. Something something, usual countdown rules apply. Something something, only fights I've played. Sorry, Eraser Jin. Alright, now that we're all set, let's get into the countdown. The fight against Zero is built up for the entirety of Amy's story in Adventure 1, and when we get to the fight itself, it's a pretty fun one that I will happily say was worth all that build up. You can make real short work of this boss after dodging its shockwaves and the occasional stretched arm attacks, giving you an opening to smack up with your hammer into the electrical walls surrounding the arena. It lands at the bottom of this list mainly due to how easy and short it is, and from not having a whole lot of memories with this one. Its place on this list will probably not be a big shock. With all that in mind, <laughs> this is why no one watches my content. Shut up, Dale! Okay, so I kind of sort of lied about the Sonic Advance series not having good bosses. There's two in the first game. Mecha Knuckles starts off like the Knuckles fight in Sonic 3, at least until you get a couple of hits in. Then he goes full robo mode and fires giant fucking missiles at you. This is on here mainly for being a pretty good shout out to the Knuckles fight with a pretty good twist to it. You know, that gives me ideas. I'll take a DHT video, and I'll add missiles. And then, I'll finally be popular. <laughs> I don't know where else I was going with this. Shut up, Dale! I mentioned this being one of my favorite bosses in Adventure 1 in my previous countdown, and I still stand by that opinion. Beta's upgraded form can't be just shot repeatedly to win like his previous fight and his brothers. You need to wait for an opening to strike and dodge his devastating arsenal of attacks. It can be a tense showdown and everything from the music to the build up makes this an extremely fun fight for me. Sonic Heroes along with Adventure 2 define my childhood, and when it comes to this game in particular, a few bosses stand out from my experiences from back then. Especially this one. Now in fairness, this fight could probably be done in a matter of seconds with a tornado attack like the previous team battle fought earlier in the game, but as a kid I really didn't know about this tactic, so it tended to result in a drawn out, tense showdown. My first playthrough of the game was with Team Rose, so the Chaotix fight is the one I have the most memories with. The loop version of the Chaotix theme, the arena, and even the cutscene beforehand made me love this fight as a kid, and even to this day I still enjoy it. Even when I cheese it with a tornado. Shut up, Dale! I've featured this guy in a few countdown videos already, so it's probably no surprises on here too, but here we are. As a boss fight, I love his attack patterns the music that plays in the background, and to me it's the perfect balance of not being overly hard nor being too easy either. Compared to the other two final bosses you encounter in the different rights of Shadow the Hedgehog, this is the one that got the formula right in my eyes. Now if you'll excuse me, I must return to my experiments. This bit of DNA I found might be the key to bringing back Blackton for another Sonic game. I will revive him somehow, damn it. <laughs> 